Hello everyone, I'm Jenny Matthews, Head of Marketing for MRI on Location for Footfall Analytics, formerly known as MRI Springboard, and I'd like to share with you the monthly highlights from September. MRI Software is a leading provider of real estate software solutions that transform the way communities live, work and play. MRI's open and connected AI-first platform empowers owners, operators and occupiers in commercial and residential property organisations to innovate in rapidly changing markets. We have been a trailblazer in the prop tech industry for over five decades, serving more than 6 million users worldwide. In this short webinar, we take a look at footfall performance throughout September 2023, where footfall slowed across UK retail destinations, and this may be an indicator that consumers are starting to tighten their purse strings ahead of the festive season. Footfall across UK retail destinations declined by minus 2.8% from August to September, and in high streets the decline was more severe at minus 3.2%. This appears to follow a historical trend where we typically see a drop in footfall from these months, as schools reopen and workers return to the office, but there's also an extra factor to consider as consumers start to exercise caution with their spending in the face of high interest rates. The trend in terms of weakening performance is also reflected in the annual performance deteriorating marginally across all UK retail destinations to 1.6% from 1.9% in August. However, high street performance paints a slightly different picture as there was a modest increase in footfall of 1.4% year-on-year from 1.2% in August. This is positive, however, it's worth noting that these metrics aren't as strong as the performance witnessed over the summer months in May, when it was 4.4% higher than last year, and in June, when it was 5.2% higher than 2022, which highlights how seasonality is impacting footfall in UK high streets. While there was a natural bounce back in footfall post-pandemic, the momentum is now starting to fall back in line with the pre-pandemic trend. Despite the weakening performance in September, there is some assurance for retail destinations when comparing against the 2019 level, as the gap narrowed in high streets to minus 12.8% from minus 13.4% in August, and this influenced the marginal improvement across all UK retail destinations to minus 10.9% from minus 11% in August. Weekday footfall declined by minus 4.5% in UK high streets compared with a rise of 2.7% in the previous month, which is synonymous with a trend we typically see following the summer holiday period and the great return to school. This is also reflected in a rise of 4.6% in weekend traffic versus a decline of minus 3.8% seen in the month before. If we look at high street performance at a regional level, Scotland appeared to suffer the greatest setback, with the gap from the 2019 level widening to minus 19.2% from minus 14.3% in August, which then contributed to a widening of the gap across all of Scotland's retail destinations to minus 16.9% from minus 14.1% in August. However, we have seen significant improvement across high streets in the East Midlands, where the gap from the 2019 level narrowed to minus 3.7% from minus 6.2% in August, and also the South West, where the gap from the 2019 level improved by 2.5% from minus 10.8% in August to minus 8.2% in September. Annually, many regions saw an uplift in footfall compared with the year-on-year -year performance in the month before, However, it's clear to see that these increases are naturally diminishing. Northern Ireland and Greater London saw the greatest uplift year on year compared with the activity from 2022 versus 2021. A significant bounce back in footfall was to be expected annually in 2022. However, we're now starting to see this step back into a pre-pandemic trend when we look at the activity year on year. The final week in September brought relief for UK high streets, as footfall rose by 6.1% versus an average decline of minus 1.5% in the four weeks prior. This is a welcome result for stores and destinations, and was undoubtedly helped by the mild weather. Although with a similar pattern over the same two weeks in 2022, it does suggest a strong seasonal factor is coming into play. 
For the final week in September, which was week 39, footfall rose on six of the seven days, although overall weekly performance for retail will have been constrained by poor performance on Saturday. Footfall declined on Saturday versus rises on the other six days, and this was largely due to a strong comparable in the week before last, when it was the best performing day of the week. Not only is Saturday still the peak trading day of the week, but hybrid working means that it's also gaining in importance as more consumers spend less time working from home over the five days from Monday to Friday. Looking ahead, the declining trend in footfall across UK retail destinations is likely to continue into October, as the start of the month will be met with rail disruption in the form of planned strikes and overtime bans. This will impact businesses and retail destinations, with people less likely to travel and choosing to work from home where they can. Alongside shoppers urging caution when it comes to spending, we'll also need to take into account the changing weather conditions, which are likely to influence shopper activity, particularly in high streets. If these monthly insights have whetted your appetite for more, then be sure to head online to subscribe for our benchmarks and get them delivered directly to your inbox weekly or monthly, or check out our resource library for the latest on-demand content. Thank you so much for your time.